Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. Coca-Cola, there's magic when we cheer together. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919-ALL-4s for a free legal consultation. Hello again, welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel, and we have some great stuff to talk about over the next 30 minutes. Bunch of Tar Heel victories over the past seven days. So glad you're here. We're going to start with men's basketball. Back on Tuesday night, Carolina in Syracuse. Late one against the Orange. Tar Heels controlled the game the whole way until the very end. It got really tight. And fortunately for the Tar Heels, they made the plays on both ends to sneak out of there with a hard-earned 72-68 victory over Syracuse. That's the only action this week for the guys. No game this weekend, so we'll take a look back at that win over Syracuse. But not only the guys winning, the women having a great week as well. It started at home with a victory over Georgia Tech in Carmichael this past Sunday. Then in the midweek, Tar Heels on the road. In fact, that's the first of a stretch of four out of five games for Carolina that will be on the road. And went up to Pittsburgh. Didn't have their best game through the first three quarters, but then really turned it on in quarter number four and ran away from the Panthers. So we're going to have highlights of the wins over Georgia Tech and Carmichael and then the road win at Pitt. Plus, winter sports are getting near the end of their regular season. Spring sports are getting started, so we have a lot of other Tar Heel action to show you as well. So we have a bunch to do and almost forgot. We talked to Zach Gallen from uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks, former Tar Heel pitcher. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to sit down with Zach. He had an incredible streak a year ago, 44 and a third consecutive innings scoreless in Major League Baseball. It's the seventh longest in baseball history. We talked to Zach about that and a lot more. So we have a lot of bases covered for sure on the show today. We're going to start with men's basketball Tuesday night in Syracuse against the Orange. Tariel's working in the middle to Baycott at the left elbow. Back on the left wing to R.J. Davis. He'll fire the three and knock it in. Baycott was standing right next to him. Tariel's have to reset it back out to Love for three. But Leaky Black comes up with the loose ball. Goes down low, back up top to Love, open for three, count it. I think I'll shoot that. <laughs> it is a tough cover for anybody as Nance down low to Baycott for the two-handed flush. Love able to get it, gets it down low to Nance. Fighting in traffic, kicks it back out to an open Love who answers the triple. Caleb feeling it, he's hit three threes. Shot clock's getting low, it's down to seven. Baycott in the middle of the zone, turns, hooks, and tear drops it in. Nance and Baycott, although as Nance goes down low to Baycott for the dunk. Yeah, he's got to follow his shot. Syracuse tries to push, and Tyler Nickel comes out of nowhere and blocks it away. Two on one. Baycott finishes the transition hammer. Edwards has been good about just continuing to be dogged in his effort. Love into the paint, kicks it in the corner to Nickel. Catch and shoot three. Count it from the right side. Gets airborne and turned it over as Nance intercepts the pass. Nance whips it to Baycott. This is a three-on-one break to Black. Back to Baycott to the rim for two more. Timeout Syracuse. Dumps it in the middle of the paint to Baycott. He dribbles out of that area and hands off to R.J. Davis. To Nickel, quick pass to Nance. Right corner, open look for three. It's nothing but net. As Love looking to inbound. He's going to try and lob it to Black, who catches and finishes on the alley-oop. 15 on the shot clock. In the middle of the zone, it goes to Nance. Nance pivoting at the free throw line. Spins by Edwards and scores with the left hand. Is no good. Rebound, knocked around. It is saved, but to Nance, and he scores. Gerard saved it on the baseline right to Nance, who put it in. So the Tar Heels, who've had a couple opportunities this year in some tight games away from home, this time... They're able to execute down the stretch and get out of town with a hard-fought road victory. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. 
Thanks for being here on the show. So the guys got the win over Syracuse. That improves them to 15 and 6 overall. 7 and 3 in conference play. Hard to believe already halfway through ACC action this season. All right, let's turn the page from men's basketball to women's basketball. A couple of big victories for the women's team here over the last few days. And Deja Kelly been a big part of that. Of course, Deja joined us last week on the show. She led the team with 18 points in the victory over Georgia Tech, then 23 points in the win against Pitt. Let's see highlights of that home win over the Yellow Jackets and road victory versus the Panthers. This UNC team. There's a three ball from Deja Kelly. Gives North Carolina a 5-2 advantage early. Rebound to Adams. And that was a great decision by Marley Washnitz. She pushes the tempo. Nobody picked her up. But did not finish. Kelly tries again, got it. Deja Kelly, eight points in the first five minutes for the Heels. We were talking with Courtney Banghart, and she was saying that North Carolina hasn't seen much zone, but... Deja Kelly is the leader for North Carolina with eight points, including two three-pointers. She takes the pull-up from the elbow, knocks it down. And errant pass, tracked down by Washington, but North Carolina takes over quickly on the break. Paris finishes. Lead now at four for Pitt. Usby from downtown silences the crowd. Washington's defending Deja Kelly. Five on the timer. Pass inside to Poole. Beautiful fake. The step through and off the window. If they can finish out this qu third quarter on the streak that they have been going thus far, it's going to be an interesting fourth quarter. 16 second difference, shot and game clock. Todd Williams ends the scoring slump for North Carolina. As you see down there, North Carolina does an excellent job at hedging the ball screen there. Makes it really difficult for Malia Johnson. Now North Carolina can be patient. Paris swings, Todd Williams, corner three. Let's it fly and lets it go. Kennedy Todd Williams for three. Great three point shooter. And there she is again on the defensive end. Todd Williams. Finishes, draws the foul. It's a Tar Heel team that will improve to 15 and five and six and three in the ACC. And wow, have they come a long way since being 0 and three to start their conference slate. For Georgia Tech, here's Hotchin. Loading off a three point shot. That is her specialty this year, shooting. 41% from beyond the arc. You said it best, you've got to have good guard play in the ACC to make a run in this conference. Kelly for three. Knocks it down, Deja Kelly. Kelly at the point with five. Looking for some help, takes the shot herself and knocks it down. Usby looking to go coast to coast. From defense to offense for the junior star. And that's, I think, Cameron Schwartz is only shooting 33% from the floor. And so you take a tough shot, and it allows North Carolina to run and get a corner three. Shot clock under 10. Todd Williams letting one fly from beyond the arc. Left open for three, and gets it to go. How about Usby? Kelly one more time. Gets it to go. Kelly left open for three, why not? 13 made threes coming into this game today already. She is four of six from beyond the arc. Usby with the left hand finish. And according to the latest bracketology by Charlie Cream, North Carolina went from a six to a four seed. Off the steal, Todd Williams with the pretty finish. Eventual national champ, South Carolina. Hudson for three, knocks it down. Nothing but net for the transfer from William and Mary. And another impressive performance for Courtney Banghart and company. This is a well put together North Carolina team.